Farms.com Market School with expert commodity analyst Mo Agostino is an online educational video series designed to help you, the farmer, improve your knowledge of grain marketing. Farms.com Market School is brought to you by DeKalb Brand Seeds. DeKalb, growing confidence. Today's video is about knowing basis. A lot of farmers have a difficult time understanding basis, so today's topic is giving you a very simple approach to understanding basis. Now you can make more money with basis. So our topics today include a definition of basis, examples to illustrate how basis is calculated, and then we're going to define nearby um, futures. It's a slogan we use in the industry, give historical perspective, and provide some helpful hints with basis. So our first topic is defining basis. Basis is the difference between the local cash price and the nearby futures price, the current futures month. It relates your local cash price to the futures market. Basis is important in pricing decisions because part of the return is always the local cash price. Understanding the relationship between basis and your futures price is therefore an important element of a risk management strategy. Remember, futures is your biggest risk. I think I've, uh, I've uh, stressed that throughout this whole uh, Market School video series. Not basis. Basis is your second biggest risk. Corn futures can drop from U.S. $7 a bushel, like in 2012, and we went to eight forty nine, and or 2008. Uh, and it can quickly drop to about $3 a bushel, but your local basis rarely, if ever, has made such a wide move. There is an exception to the rule. We have seen that, but it's rare. Our second topic is showing examples on how to calculate basis. This is very, very simple. Most of you know this, but we'll do a quick review. If current futures is 626 and cash is $6, the basis is 26 under, it minus um, uh, 26. If corn futures is 626 and the cash is 660, basis is 34 cents per bushel over or plus 34. Surplus of supply usually equates to a negative or wide basis. Let's use canola as an example. Canola futures are at 560 a metric ton and cash is 550. Your basis is $10 per metric ton under or minus $10 if canola futures is 560 and the cash is 600 and basis is $40 a metric ton over or plus 40. A deficit in supply usually means a smaller basis or narrowing of the basis. In your soybean example here, soybean futures is $13 a bushel, cash is 14, that means basis is a dollar per bushel over or plus a dollar soybean futures is $13 per bushel and cash is 12.50 then basis is minus 50 cents per bushel under or minus 50 in our wheat example Chicago wheat futures is seven dollars a bushel cash is 770 I think you're getting the drift here basis is 70 cents per bushel over or plus 70 if Chicago wheat futures is seven dollars per bushel and cash is 550 the basis is buck 50 per bushel under or minus 150 our third topic today is defining nearby, providing an historical perspective and including some help helpful hints. Basis is typically matched to the nearest futures month. Remember, it's the front month after cash transaction. A cash spot transaction in January will be matched to the March futures. A forward contract for March will be matched to May. A new crop contract for November will be matched to December. So here's a, an example of canola. And so the nearby futures front month is May at uh, the 556 a metric ton. Having an understanding as to the historical basis range over time is important. So knowing if, for example, a plus 10 per bushel on corn, um, historically, if that's a very good basis, then you would want to lock that in. If you know the historical range is plus 10 on the high end and minus one per bushel on the low end, you want to lock that in. Knowing that a minus $40 per metric ton on canola basis is bad, typically that's wide for Western Canada, simply means that the producer would pass on that basis and would wait for a better basis into the future. Now, uh, in Eastern Ontario, you can get basis from John Jordan at Ridgetown College. He produces the Farm Market News. You can actually um, uh, subscribe that by email. Uh, and he gives you a guide, a guide uh, to a bunch of the elevators. It's not every elevator, but it's a guide. So you still got to call your local elevator. Remember, you're always calling a bunch of guys within your local area because I've said this before. I stress this. Don't depend on one elevator because sometimes there's an elevator in your local area during the particular uh, period of time uh, maybe looking for corn bushels more than the next guy and you're going to get a better basis in western canada you can get uh, bases from viteria bungie um, of course the wheat board 
uh, and then in the United States you can get uh, bases from GeoGrain. Unfortunately with GeoGrain uh, they got a cool platform there but you're gonna have to pay for it on a yearly basis otherwise you can just have to depend on your local elevator so what are some helpful hints when it comes to basis marketing number one get your local elevator fax or email you their daily basis or go to their website most of them do have a website and you can look on their website to see what the basis is doing and of course they give you the futures price and you can arrive at a net price number two tip number two do not rely on one local elevator as I said earlier try to call around it'd be amazed the difference in basis from one to the other just on that day and number three do not be afraid to do a basis first contract in other words you're gonna let the futures ride we've got corn at four bucks you don't like that price but you got the basis at plus 20 you like the basis so lock in that basis for those of you do, do, who do not have storage that eliminates the whole storage uh, problem cost going forward so do the basis and don't be afraid to do a chunk of basis like just don't do 5,000 bushes if you're a large producer maybe do 10 percent 20 percent forward on that uh, basis and then you'll lock in the futures at a later date so in summary, knowing your local basis, understanding how it's calculated, and knowing whether a basis historically is good or bad can definitely help farmers make more money. Ignoring basis should not be part of any risk management plan. Too often farmers accept just what they get at the local elevator on that day that they're selling those bushels.